Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to get your fitness data from your Apple Watch into your Fitbit account. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so if you're a long time viewer of the channel, you'll realize that over the years I've been wearing a Fitbit pretty much for the last three or four years, if not slightly more. Ever since the Fitbit Charge HR, I've gone through the Charge 2, Charge 3, the Surge was my daily driver for a long, long time. But unfortunately that has started to give up the ghost. And as most of you know, there's been so many syncing issues with Fitbit devices with both my Android phone and my Apple phones over the years. So it came to crunch time and I had to do something. So I found the Apple Watch at a very good price. And probably that is why you're here. If you've had one of these Apple Watches for maybe Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever it may be, or you're planning to buy one as a bargain on Black Friday, then you don't really want to leave the Fitbit ecosystem entirely. Maybe you've got the Aria scales or something like that, and you've got all your data over the last few years all inside your Fitbit app, which I actually do as well. But I really wanted to get away from the Fitbit devices. The app is fine, but the devices are uh, pretty poor to be fair. And the Apple Watch is absolutely fantastic device. It covers all the bases and it is truly a smart watch, not really a fitness tracker. But if you want to get your steps and that kind of data into the Fitbit app, it's virtually impossible. Obviously Fitbit are trying to protect their interests and they have stopped any means of doing that. But this is where a fantastic device or app called My Fitness Sync comes into play. Now My Fitness Sync works in two ways. You can get it so that you can transfer your Apple Health data into the Fitbit app and vice versa, or an Apple device such as the watch into your Fitbit. So you can transfer all your steps that you get into your Fitbit app. So I'm gonna open up the phone now and show you the app and show you how it works and you can decide if it works for you or not. Okay, so let's open up the Fitbit app first of all. So as you can see, this is actually from Tuesday and you can see through it's got my calories listed, how many calories I've burnt based on my steps and my stride length and all that kind of stuff as you would see normally. As a default setting, if you haven't synchronized, then it will just show you like yesterday, for instance, because I haven't synchronized yet, it just showed me the kind of default what you'd burn up on an average day. So it obviously hasn't taken into account how many steps I've done on my Apple Watch for obvious reasons, because it doesn't work with it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the um, My Fitness Sync if we go to the home page, so when you get the My Fitness Sync app, you can go to the Apple Store, you can download it. Now, there is a price for it, it is $5.99. There are special offers on, so you can get the two apps, so you can do vice versa syncing, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll put links in the description so you can check out. Now this is in no way a sponsored video. This is just an app that I find very, very useful for transferring my data. And I don't really wanna leave this Fitbit ecosystem after all this time. So now I can use both the Apple Healthcare or the Apple Care or Apple Health or whatever app it is, but I can also transfer that data into the Fitbit app, which for me works really well. So the first thing you need to do is to uh, obviously link the account. So on the, uh, the top, it says login in the Fitbit account. You can click on login, put in your Fitbit account details, and you can synchronize the account in that respect. So the next thing to do is to choose the fields that you want to sync. Now you can select up to three different fields on this. Now I've personally gone for just the Mike's Apple Watch. So it, as it says there, I've got a checkbox there where it says steps. So that is recording my steps. You can actually do it from your iPhone, those kinds of things if you want to. But for me personally, all I need to do is to add steps to the app. So that's all well and good. And then all you need to do is just press sync now. And it says there, sync completed. So it's gone ahead and done that. And now if we go into the Fitbit app, and as we can see, the calories have shot up, and yesterday now is showing that I've actually burnt 3,400 calories based on my steps and all that kind of stuff. Now there is another thing you can do. If you have a, a previous Fitbit device actually in your account, and don't remove it when you're not using it, you will actually see the default view of your steps on here. I've actually removed my Fitbit surge from the account, so now it's just showing calories but it still actually is tracking my steps. And as you can see, the four or five days is going through and showing um, all of the things I've done, walking, all that kind of stuff. So you get the general idea. It's gone through and is synchronizing my Apple data to the Fitbit app. So if you want to uh, try and leave the Fitbit ecosystem, at least for uh, devices, and you want to step over to Apple devices and synchronize them with your Fitbit app, then this is definitely a good way of doing it. Like I said, this isn't a sponsored video or anything, I just thought it'd be helpful for some of you who are 
perhaps thinking of making the jump over to the Apple ecosystem and this application, um, my fitnessing, does wonders for that and has actually saved me a lot of headaches on trying to work out how I'm going to combine the two uh, systems. So there you go, there has been how to put your Apple Watch data into your Fitbit app. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll be catching you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.